Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? I hope you're having a great Sunday morning. My name is Teacher Nancy, and I'll take you through our lesson and our memory verse for today. A memory verse. What is a memory verse? I'm thinking a memory verse is something you put in your mind, in your memory. And a verse, where does the verse come from? The verse comes from, does it come from storybooks? Does it come from Sleeping Beauty? Or Beauty and the Beast? Where does it come from? Where does our verse come from? It comes from the, from the Bible, correct. Our, verse, our memory verses come from the Bible. And the Bible, what is it? Is it also a storybook? No. Uh, the Bible is the Word of God, and it gives us instructions on how to live. And we put these words in our mind, in our memory, and in our heart, so that we can remember them when we are in trouble, or when you are feeling sad, when you need an encouragement, when you are feeling down, like teacher, teacher Joanne. Teacher Joanne was here, and her memory verse was, do you remember? It was Psalms 139 verse 14, which says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. So when somebody tells you, mm, you don't look good, and you remember Psalms 139 verse 14, then it makes you feel good. Or even Teacher Eunice the other Sunday taught us about Proverbs 15, verse 13 and it was saying a happy heart makes a face look cheerful you remember so when you're feeling sad and you remember that it makes you feel good so our memory verse from today will come from our book, the book of psalms verse 19 to 14 our memory verse is the one that is written behind me and it comes from the book of god which is the bible and it says, may these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. So our memory verse for today, what, you know the what words are. Words ni, ni maneno, the things that we speak. Like now I'm using words to communicate to you, to tell you about God. That is what. And then mouth is an organ in our body, the one that we use to speak. And meditation. Meditation is thinking or concentration or something that you put in your mind. Something that you constantly think about. That's meditation. And then there's the heart. It's also an organ in our body. It's a heart that beats. If your heart stops beating, you know what will happen. And then there is pleasing. Pleasing is something that looks good. Kitwina frahisha. Something that is pleasing. And then sight is a thing that one sees or that can be seen. Is a thing that one sees. Like you can see my Bible. So you sight that is sight. So this memory verse is saying is um it's from the book of Psalms. And the book of Psalms has been, was written by a man called David. And there are 150 chapters in the book of Psalms. So ours comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 14. And so, if, if you are saved, and if you are saved, saved like you have Jesus in your heart, then you, this is how you apply this message. You pray for this. You ask God to, to help you so that anything that you say or anything that you are thinking in your mind will be something that will be pleasing to God, will be something good that God can see. Don't be seated down somewhere and you are thinking bad thoughts and then because God can always see whatever you are thinking. So that should be your prayer as a saved child. If you are not saved, then you can ask God still to help you so that your thoughts 
and the words that you use should be good and pleasing in the sight of God. So I, I would like us to repeat our memory verse for today, which is Psalms chapter 19 verse 14 says, Say it with me. May these words of my mouth and the meditation of your heart uh, and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. Again, Psalms chapter 19 verse 14. May these words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. And now if you are a boy, you can say it with me. Psalms chapter 19 verse 14. May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. And that is it for today. Oh, I forgot the girls. Oh, let's do it. If you are a girl, say it with me. Psalms chapter 19 verse 14. It says, may these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight. Thank you. And that is it for our memory verse for today. But don't go away. Hold on and wait for our lesson for today. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi, kids. Hi, boys and girls. I'm back with our lesson for today. But before we do our lesson, let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the boys and girls who are watching us. And we thank you for your word. We pray that Jehovah Lord, you're going to help us to listen to your word and understand what is saying to us. Help us to keep it in our hearts so that anytime we are doing our meditation, it will be pleasing in your sight. We thank you for this opportunity and we praise your name. For it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So, our lesson for today will be about... Oh, hi, teacher Rebecca. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I was just about to teach about today's lesson. Oh, did you have something you wanted to tell me? <laughs> Bad news. Bad news. Bad news. Teacher Jackie. I know Teacher Jackie. What did she do? So hard. Maybe she came to the church. I didn't see. Oh, yeah, I saw her. Did you see her shoes? Oh, her shoes. <laughs> So dirty, did you so dirty? And one side was so long and I was like, when did she wake up? Oh, and do you know what she told me? Oh, she told me that she didn't have money to buy soap to wash her clothes. That's why she was so dirty. Really? She was coming to church that dirty. <laughs> she was so dirty. She should have stayed home. What is wrong with her? Do it. Yeah. Oh, Ruby, I want to do it. You do it. I said, I said, you go talk to her. I'll leave you to do it. Oh, oh, maybe I will. <laughs> Bye. 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 Do you know what we were doing with teacher Rebecca? Did you hear what we were talking about? We were talking about teacher Jackie. Were we saying nice things about teacher Jackie? And how did we look when we were saying those things? Did you notice? And if teacher Jackie had what we were saying, do you think she would be happy? I don't think she would be happy. So our lesson for today is about spreading tales. Spreading tales is, is gossiping. You know what gossiping is? Exactly what we were doing with teacher Rebecca. We were talking about somebody else who was not here and we were not saying nice things you know in proverbs 11 13 it says that those who talk about others tell secrets but those who can be trusted keep things to themselves 
Teacher Jackie told me something, and I told Teacher Rebecca, and that was gossiping. And the Bible tells us, do not gossip. We should not gossip, because to gossip is to talk about someone, especially to tell something that that person does not want others to know. A secret, like a secret that somebody tells you, and then you go and tell somebody else, and that is not nice. And there are different reasons for gossiping, including making yourself look better, like we were trying to do with teacher Rebecca. We thought we were better than teacher Jackie. So we make ourselves look better than the person that you are talking about, or you want, uh, you want to make someone look bad in the eyes of others. So you're talking about someone so that they can look bad in the eyes of others. And no matter what the reason, gossip hurts. The person being talked about, like I was asking you, if teacher Jackie heard what we were talking about, do you think she would be happy? She would not be happy. She would be very sad because we were not saying nice things about her. And that's the thing with gossiping. When you're gossiping and telling your friends other things about others, you're not telling them good things. That is what we call gossiping. And it hurts the person that is being talked about. And there is a saying that people say, oh, sticks and bones may hurt my bones, but words will never hurt me. But that is not true because people are hurt and embarrassed when unkind things are said about them. So to resist the temptation to gossip, temptation is the, the urge, the, the wanting to gossip. To resist that, to, to avoid that, you, there's a prayer we have in Psalms chapter 141, verse 3. Remember we talked about the Bible being the word of God. So we are going to read a prayer that you can say that is found in Psalms chapter 141, verse 3. If you have your Bible, you can open it with me. If you don't, you, if you can ask somebody to help you open the Bible. So it says, Set a guard over my mouth, Lord, and keep watch over the doors of my lips. It says, Set a guard over my mouth, Lord, and keep watch over the door of my lips. Because gossiping is sin, and sin is what separates us from God. God doesn't like it when we sin, because God is holy and perfect, and he is without sin. So when we sin, it makes God sad. You do remember what sin is, right? Sin is what? Sin is anything you say, anything you think, or anything you do that does not please God and it makes God sad and it breaks God's loose. So we should avoid gossiping because it is sin. Yes, it is sin. So the Holy Spirit can also help you to avoid the temptation to, not only to gossip, but also to listen to gossip. If you don't listen to gossip, then there will be no gossipers because they have no one to talk to. If somebody comes to tell you something uh, something not nice about somebody else and you tell them, la, 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 I don't want to listen, they will not tell it to you. So they will not have, they will not gossip. And if they go to somebody else and they go like, I'm not listening, they will not, they will not gossip because then they will feel like, oh, nobody wants to listen to my stories. Nobody wants to listen to my stories about teacher Jackie. If when teacher Rebecca came here and she started telling me, do you know teacher Jackie? And I said, uh, don't tell me about teacher Jackie. She would not have talked to me, right? So we would not have gossiped. So you can ask the Holy Spirit to help you to avoid the temptation to gossip. And one way he does this is to bring you, he brings you, he helps you to remember God's word. Remember our memory verse that we were talking about. We said about the words of your mouth, those words that are coming from your mouth and the meditation of your heart to be pleasing to who? 
to God, to be pleasing to God. So the Holy Spirit will remind you of the memory verse and remind you, remember Psalms 19 verse 14. And when you remember that, you will, you will not gossip because you have stored that word, this word, in your heart. So I'm going to teach you, I'm going to show you a small activity to make a card that will help you to control your tongue not to gossip or will help you to remember not to gossip. So here you will need, you will need your Bible and then you will need uh, some beautiful paper, either it can be luminous paper or manila paper, some kind of paper, but I've already made mine. So I'm just going to give you instructions on how to make yours. So on this kind of paper, you cut a rectangle on it, a rectangle on that beautiful piece of paper, and then you fold it into two. And then on top here, you draw a heart and color it red. Can you see my heart? And then you cut a small square in the middle of the heart. You see, can you see that? You cut a small square in the middle of the heart. You can decorate your heart any way you like. If you have some glitters, you can put some glitters. If you don't have a marker, you can use your paint. You can do, use different kinds of paint. But I colored mine red to remind us of our heart. This is our heart. I know my heart is red. I don't know what color your heart is. So that's why I colored it red. So inside this heart, you will stick a plain paper white. So this is a heart without God's word in it. It's an empty heart. And this is the kind of heart that will gossip that doesn't have any any word in it. It doesn't, it's empty. So it's idle and it will gossip. But when you take your heart and you put God's word in it, like I put God, God's word in mine. Sorry. So I put God's word in mine. And can you read the word that I have put in, in my heart? I have put Psalms 141 verse 3 and it says, Set a guard over my mouth, Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. You can put any word. You can pick any memory verse, any God's word you have, you can put it there as a reminder so that you do not speak things that are not pleasant to God. Things that are not things that do not make God happy. So remember, for you to grow, for you to grow in in, in, God, in the word of God, you have to put God's word in your heart. Do not have an empty heart. Always have a heart that is full of God's word and the Holy Spirit will use that word to remind you of what to do when you need him and you pray. So I would, and that is the end of our lesson for today. And I would like us to pray. You can keep this anywhere, in your room, in your house, after you've made it, you can put it in your room, in your house, anywhere, so that it can remind you of what to do. So if, if you, if you're a, if you haven't accepted Jesus in your heart and you would like to, there's a prayer I'm going to say. You can repeat it after me or you can go to your mom or your dad or someone who is saved, maybe your Sunday school teacher or your pastor and tell them that you would like to have Jesus in your heart. So let us pray. This is the prayer you, would, you say. Say, Lord Jesus, I know I'm a sinner and I believe you died on the cross for me and I confess my sins today. Come into my heart and help me to live in a way that is pleasing to you. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. So if you have said that prayer, remember you have told Jesus to come to your heart. So the things that come from your heart and the words that come from your mouth. The things that should come from your mouth should be 
good things that are pleasing to who? To God. And that is the end of our lesson today. Bye-bye.